if you're uh, wondering what I'm going to talk to you about sports, the answer is never. The most I, I will ever say about sports, I will say now. I don't follow sports of any kind. All right, I have no interest in seeing people chase after a ball, kick it, throw it, catch it, whatever. Uh, don't want to play it. Don't want to risk sports injuries. Although I would think even that would be a little bit more entertaining, you know, being part of the action. Um, and I believe that not nearly as many people uh, who, pro who proclaim to like sports actually do. I think it's just all hyped up peer pressure. But I know that there are some really diehard true sports fans. And I, uh, I can also understand why there are so loyal to um, a, any particular team. And I think a lot of times it has to do with the team is from their hometown. So it's, uh, it's pride. It's pride that motivates them to you know, cheer on their team uh, no matter how poorly the team may play. I get that. What I don't understand so much is why people tend to support a political candidate no matter what they do. It's like, okay, well, everyone I know is supporting this person, so I will support them as well, and you know absolutely nothing about them. So, this is what I suggest. I suggest that you figure out what, how you feel about certain issues, okay, and then find the candidate that most closely matches what you're, what, what, you know, what you hold dear, you know, um, do they, how, how much do they agree with you? I, I think that's important. And whenever they uh, deviate from what you, you, you know, what positions they have in common with you, then you should not support them in that moment. You know, you should be able to um, express disappointment that they are not supporting the issues that, that you hold near and dear to your heart. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You should feel strongly about what you feel strongly about, not about people. But I see that that happens a lot. Um, our, our prior president couldn't do no wrong, okay? Um, our prior president, you know, Barack Obama, no matter what he did, excuses were made for him. And then also, the people that were opposed to Obama, no matter what he did, it was amplified and made a big deal of, all right? Um, but it was not to the degree that we see with President Trump. I mean, it's out of control. I mean, the silliest little things that he does is just made a big deal of. Um, Barack Obama, the, really the only thing they were able to say about him was that he played, too, he played golf too much or he vacationed too much or whatever. It was just petty things, just nonsense. Um, but with the current president, I mean, he can do no right. I mean, no matter what he does. Um, and, and, you know, I, I, I get it. You know, he is not uh, what we're accustomed to. He's not a conventional president. All right. Uh, he wasn't a conventional candidate. You know, he is not a polished speaker, but I, I give him some credit. I mean, you always understand what he's saying, you know, although we all wish that he had a better delivery, you know. But, um, you know, I, I know that a lot of people uh, took issue with the, um, a, he was caught on video saying something about uh, um, grabbing women's genitalia. And that was made a big deal of. And, um, you know, recently we had an incident where um, Kathy Griffith uh, 
held in a picture uh, the decapitated head of the president. Um, I didn't see the picture. I don't want to see the picture, but my understanding is it was dripping blood. It was really gory. Um, and all I could think to myself was, what was she thinking? Why would she do that? I mean, that's just pretty far out there. And I think, you know, we we have so much hatred towards everything that this man does that it leads people to believe that anything goes. And no, I mean, you got to draw the line somewhere. And, you know, I mean, what what is she, an ISIS terrorist now? I mean, that's what they do. So, um, I found it interesting that someone uh, thought it was analogous what she did to what the president had said before he became president um, about women and grabbing their their junk, you know, grabbing their stuff. Um, and I don't see how they're synonymous at all. I mean, really. I mean... He wasn't suggesting that these women be castrated, all right? Um, it, it's just unbelievable. I mean, and he, I don't know. It's just it's, it's just hard to absorb this, really. And now um, Bill Maher used the N word, and I understand he. I I don't think he said it with hate. But he still said it, and I could. I, I haven't heard it. I haven't heard any excuses for it. Like, like they were trying to excuse Kathy Griffith, saying, "Well, she did this, but the, you know, but uh, Donald Trump did that." Um, but it just bothers me that anything he does is blown out of proportion and made a big issue of. But when somebody does something just as bad or worse, the attitude is, oh, there's nothing to see here, you know? So what I'm saying is don't be a hypocrite, all right? There's nothing wrong with calling the president out on, on, on the stupid things he says. And I know he has said many a stupid things, all right? But don't give a pass to the people that you think are on your side because they hate the president too, all right? If they do something stupid, be willing to admit that, all right? And, um, I mean, you're being a hypocrite if you don't. Now, I know some of you are probably uh, wanting to high-five me, okay? And then there's probably going to be a bunch of others of you that hate what I'm saying. And if you hate what I'm saying that it's probably because you believe that I'm talking to you, that I'm calling you a hypocrite. And if you believe that, then maybe you believe it's true. So you need to make a change. So I go back to what I said earlier. You know, think about what is important to you and think about and support the people that also think as you do. All right? And when they don't, okay, then, you know, be willing to withdraw your support from that person, all right? Don't go on supporting people that do things that you don't agree with, okay? So that is my message to you today. Don't be a hypocrite, all right? Please, I beg of you, all right? Um, you do that, you know, you're going to lose people's respect, or you're not going to be able to earn the respect of a lot of people, all right? So um, that's it. That's all I got to say, and I thank you for uh, taking the time to listen to what I have to say. And um, I hope you're not too angry with me and that you'll be back to hear me out again. Thank you and have a good night.